Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Africa where we've actually completed a decent portion of the levels. We only have a handful of them left. In fact, it looks like we have, I think about nine levels left. So uh, a little bit before, a little bit of backstory before we begin. I did try this level once already. I failed. I think I know what I did wrong and I'll explain it as we get back into the level. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll kind of talk about what I did wrong last time and uh, we'll go ahead and do this the first time. I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to show the footage. Maybe I can compile some of the footage from the previous ones that I've skipped over. Uh, at some point if you guys are interested in seeing that but I do want to keep progressing forward and so I don't know that seeing all of my failed attempts is necessary to that it, I feel like it bogs things down more than anything so we're gonna go ahead and start and then if you guys really want to see my failure footage I still have it if you if you guys want to watch it so uh, I could still so show you some of it at the end here uh, so here we go we're at a new map again and uh, we have a little bit of dialogue like normal so I would have thought you were a dog lover doctor no, my dear Miss Carolou, I prefer animals to be alive in the wild or deceased in my lab. Having a slobbering dog chewing on my instruments surely wouldn't do. But of course, that's not meant to say I don't appreciate companionship. No, no, I may lead a monastic life, but I always entertain my house guests. <laughs> so we have a little plot development as always. I, I love how there's just this subtle storyline in the background. Uh, it's very, very nice. But we've got a lot of goals here. We actually have something kind of tough, which is all three predators, lions, crocodiles, and hyenas. But to start off with here, we just need to place some flamingos. So I think the most important thing to do is going to be to fill up these watering holes out here. There's actually four of them. There's two on this side. And then if we go over here to the other side, there's one right over here and one right over here. So I think the most important thing is going to actually be to fill those up. And we got hyenas next. That's going to be kind of tough. So I guess what I'll start off with is by placing some zebras and maybe one or two of these uh, baboons. And then we'll put a couple hyenas here, but I eventually want them to move away from the watery area. We kind of want them out in the desert more because that's what's going to help us in the long run. So let's keep filling this up. And I'll go ahead and just put in another zebra here because ours are still pretty young and because uh, we want to establish that population. Now, the other thing we need to do is start establishing our zebra population pretty much right off the bat, because if we don't do that, they're kind of the foundation for all the other, uh, for all the predator species. And so we definitely want to make sure that we nail that. So we need to get two more baboons, I think. Not flamingos, we need baboons. We'll put two baboons in. And now what I'm going to actually start doing is kind of connecting these areas. So we're actually between the two watering holes. Right in the middle here, we want to put some bushes because we want to start getting some wildebeest. That's going to be what will support our, our hyena population in the end. And that's going to be what helps us in the long run. The baboons are going to uh, end up kind of taking over probably. They tended to do that in uh, my failed attempt here, but we want to just make sure we can sustain these predator populations and the wildebeest are going to be really important for the hyena population. Uh, so we want to make sure that we get that set up right away and start linking all these areas together. Making those links through the desert is what's really important here because if we don't manage to do that, then uh, we're going to have trouble with the uh, using this area out between the different regions here. So I'm going to actually place two baboons right here. I do want to put some trees closer. And I think I'm going to keep placing them here. We'll make this more of a baboon-centric watering hole for now. And we keep getting baboon goals. That's, that's not what I was hoping for. Okay, now we have some zebra goals. So let's put some trees around here. And then we'll actually place a couple of zebras at this watering hole as well. And we'll start filling it up just a little bit more. Now our baboon population is going to skyrocket and they're going to take over if we don't provide them with ample trees. So we need to be kind of careful with that. I am going to place more just to get started here. But we also need to start filling up these watering holes on the other side because we need to place more zebras. And we're going to run out of space to do that if all of our watering holes are full of baboons. All right, let's go ahead and I will put another bush here just so that we have a little extra. We can actually place some more flamingos in and start a population here. And I'm going to put another um, 
another zebra and fill this up again when I have the chance and we'll start filling it this last watering hole as well whoa especially before um, especially before we get to the point where we're actually going to uh, start losing gems if we're not careful so let's place a couple zebras here and now we need spring hairs so the spring hairs we really want them out in the desert more than anything uh, where is the grass it's right here we want them out in the desert more than anything because they're going to help sustain our hyena populations too. And this herd of wildebeest is also going to help, um, they're, they're going to help with our lion population and our crocodile population as well. So where are our hyenas? We have one. So you are still out here. Oh, oh, the baboon killed the hyena? What? Okay, I guess that's that then. Well, we'll place two new ones. I was gonna just lead him out here. I didn't want him to fight. Did he die? He just died to that wildebeest. Are you serious? Okay, well, we need to place some smaller prey first because they're deciding they're hungry right away and that's causing us problems and they're just dying. So we need to place some spring hairs. We need to place something they could actually catch here. Actually, let's place a few more so that they don't completely just destroy the population. Um, they're reproducing as well, which they do that quite quickly. Let's place, we need three hyenas, so, okay, oh, he, he did make a kill. <laughs> I was worried he wasn't going to. No, no, do not attack this hyena. Do not attack the hyena. I think they're just eating now, or yeah, they're just grazing at this point. The hyena, ah! The hyenas need to grow up to the point where they're going to be able to take on the wildebeest, I think. And uh, they also will scavenge off of other predators, I'm sure, if we place some of them in. So that will be kind of important. But for now, we just need to kind of pave this whole route with grass. So that we've got a big area where these hyena can hang out. We've got three of five. So I'm going to jumpstart the population a little bit more. And we'll start working on that. How is our wildebeest population? We've got at least five. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to place some more stuff here. We need to place more things so that uh, our animals will survive. And I'm going to place a few zebra here, I think. I'm going to put some zebra here and try to start a population. The baboons should focus primarily on the, um, the trees. And so I think we'll be able to get some zebra in here that uh, should help grow that population. And then I do want to place another wildebeest just to kind of get that started. There we go. We can place that in. We've got a dead hyena again. We've got five of six hyenas, though, so we're still doing okay. Let's place some more grass over here just to kind of get this, um, this settled. Is that hyena going to kill a wildebeest? What's it doing? I think it is chasing a wildebeest. Yes, okay, so they need like two or more to take them down, I think. Now, we have some, okay, we've got some zebra here. If we go over to some of these other places, we need to try and figure out what animals are at each wandering hole and which ones it can sustain. Okay, I'm going to place a couple baboons here, try to start a population. I'll place more than a couple, I guess. There we go. We can place this in again because we need to grow the population even more. We need one more. There we go. We need even more. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, let's keep going. We need 27 and we'll start with that okay nope now it's dropping okay let's look at the other watering hole because we need to fill some of these up as well okay let's place a couple in here we just need one more so we can place that one in i'm going to start filling this up more and i'm going to put a tree right here so our baboons have something to eat and what we also need to start doing is between these watering holes we need to start making a link so that we can place some wildebeest and have them wander back and forth here as well. So let's place a couple of these guys in and this will enable us to start up an ecosystem on this side. We'll start filling this a little bit higher as well. All right, now that you've gotten a drink, you're going to go out and learn where the other watering hole is. <laughs> and having a population of wildebeest on this side is going to be really important. This is going to be one of the biggest things that will sustain our predators because we haven't even begun to add the proper predators that we need to complete the challenge yet. And that's going to cause us problems if we don't manage to do that. So now that you know where you're going... Let's see here. I'm going to go back over here. I think this is our most abundant watering hole. 
We've got quite a few animals here, so I'm going to place the first couple of crocodiles. We do need more bushes. Our wildebeest are getting killed, which, oh, that one got taken by croc, I think, which is not bad. It's part of nature. <laughs> um, oh, man, and this area is so small, too. I'm going to put one crocodile here. That should help kind of trim down the population, but, oh, man, our wildebeest are just dying we really need to make sure we get that population up more because we want to make sure that we can get to that goal. Are they? No, I think most of them are okay. Um, I think we, we, we just didn't have very many on this side. So we'll put another one in. And man, the baboons are just loud. <laughs> All right, here we go. We can place that in. We do need another hyena, so let's actually put in some grass out here. We'll put in a couple spring hairs, and then we'll put our first hyena out here and kind of let that one get established. Oops, I didn't need to churn that just yet. I want to place at least four spring hairs, and then by the time we have hyenas, they will probably be grown and reproducing. So let's get started with that. We've got a lot of other animals that have met their goals, so that's good. That's always what we want to see. And uh, this should help us. Oh, no, we lost a hyena, apparently. Oh, no, we've lost another hyena. Are you serious? Where are you going? You know, you're going to go eat over here. You're going to go eat over here. Yep, you're going to eat right there. Why have we lost so many hyenas? What's going on here? All right, they're going to go hunting out here, which is fine. They are going to be hunting here. There we go. And we can place in some more grass here. We'll place in even more grass over here. We'll place another bush somewhere out here. There we go. That'll get this area nice and well suited for our wildebeest, which their population is dropping. Great. I was going to say it should keep growing pretty much on its own, but apparently not. Okay. Let's get these guys placed in. We need to put even more in. And then our crocodile population is starting to stabilize, which is good. We do need to continue to get that up. But it'll it'll help to have more large animals in the game right now, I think, uh, just to be able to kind of stabilize that. All right, do we have any sort of predator here? I do not think so, which I, oh, we have hyenas, but I think we kind of need to get like a croc in here or something because we have too many baboons again, and I know it's probably going to end up targeting the zebras, but we need to place one in. We also need flamingos. We've got a few flamingos here. We'll put another one or two just, to, okay, we've got, we've got three. We should be okay, just to make sure they're not all going to die, and then we'll put a couple flamingos here as well. There we go. Let's fill this up even further because we do need to make sure we do that and then we'll make sure we have enough flamingos here to sustain a good population uh, we'll place one more I think this guy needs to come back to the water before he dies he's gonna die he just did he just die he just died that one just died there's they're literally just dying because they're not drinking water like they're supposed to oh my goodness okay we've got that population up a bit more I guess they, like, get stressed or something if there's not enough. Okay, there's baboons here, but there's not enough, um, there's not enough zebra or anything for the croc, I don't think. The croc has enough to eat, right? Yeah. All right, let's place some more flamingos. All right, I'm going to place some more bushes around here, and we'll put a couple more trees as well for our baboons. We can't really fill this area anymore, but we do need to get some more animals in here, I think. Um, and in fact, there are bushes over here, and there's bushes, or there's trees, okay. There's not going to be a lot of room for wildebeest, but I want to start putting in, I think we'll put a lion over here, because we do have a stable wildebeest population on this side, kind of migrating back and forth. So let's put our first lion here, and we'll start working on this goal. We have six of 13 crocodiles, which is pretty good. We definitely need to continue to improve that number, though. All right, we've got lots of hyenas, too. <laughs> uh, let's keep making sure we place a few lions. That is going to drop our populations overall, but I think in the long run it'll help. Okay, our lion is alive. That's good. Our lion has... I don't know what our lion is doing. I think we've got, we've got two over here, right? I don't know. I'm going to put in a third one just to make sure we've got enough lions. I think we do but we don't want to lose too many of them. And what I want to focus on now is just uh, kind of fleshing out our wildebeest herds that we have over here because we need to get that goal met. 
and we've got a lot more wildebeest that need to be placed for that. And in order to be able to connect like across here or across over here, we need to place more in actually though. Maybe if I get, let's let this one get some water and then we can lead some of them over to the other watering hole. It's a longer journey. It's going to be a more difficult journey, although maybe not if we, if we place some stuff in here, that wouldn't be such a bad journey. And we can, okay, let's let, where's a wildebeest? Okay, a lot of these guys need food, like pronto. Let's have you come over here. Water is down a little bit, but with wildebeest, it's going to decrease very slowly. Where are you going? Go get food. Are you just following your herd? Or is that one actually out? I don't think it is. But this one's now figured out how to go over here and hopefully won't just die. All right, let's place a few more wildebeest in. And we can actually kind of extend this area uh, even a little bit further. Oh, our flamingos now are what's, what's next, though. Let's put somewhere in here. We'll put some grass. And then we have no flamingos here. Well, this is why our population is so low, because there's literally none in this watering hole. All right, let's, let's place a bunch there. And then how are we doing over here? We've got a few. We can place one or two more there. And then we need two more. So let's put some of them in this watering hole over here because we are completely out of them here too. Is this? This one's full. All right, we'll place a little bit more here. We've got a lot of baboons. We need to place some more trees for them so that they stop eating all of the bushes. And then along the way here, let's grab one of these guys who's got a lot of food and we'll just continue the trip here and continue to kind of just lead this guy along this path where... Um, He'll be able to find some more food and hopefully, okay, is there food over here? Is this what I'm seeing? Yes, there's grass, but hopefully along this journey, he will kind of now know how to get to this other watering hole. It is a very long way without water, but for a wildebeest, it's a possible journey. So he's going to be a very long way away from his herd, but this is what we want to see because it's going to help us out in the long run uh, if he can travel all the way out to this watering hole and if the rest of his herd will follow him. We do want to place more food along the way, I think. All right, this is the watering hole. So we, are, we found it. He's here. All right, and now he has water. Uh, but let's place... Oof, we, we don't have enough here, I don't think, to sustain very many animals. So let's place in some zebra. And then I think we'll put a lion in again. We'll try to get a lion population started here. Uh, let's place in another zebra and then we'll put a lion. And then we have lots of animals here. Actually, well, we will need another zebra. But for now, it's the wildebeest population that's down. We've got, is this just the one lone wildebeest traveling back by himself right now? Uh, we got lots of spring hares. I don't know where our wildebeest went. Oh, he's up here, isn't he? Yeah, he's making his way back. Okay, he's fine. He now knows about this route, though, which is the important thing. Oh! Oh, no! Some of them did come out here. Okay, so they did follow. That was good. That's exactly what we wanted, because they're also increasing the population. This is definitely what we wanted to see. Let's go ahead. We will put a lion in. We maybe need to place a couple more wildebeest as well, but we'll just start off with one lion to start with. He's going to bring down a zebra, and I will actually place a couple more wildebeest in here just to kind of kickstart that population a bit more. Ah, why is the flamingos? They're just dropping. They're dropping like flies. They do this a lot. Okay, let's place some more here, and then we've got this whole path kind of. We can place some more out here. And this will be the path of predation, I think. <laughs> the path of predation, because uh, we need to place some hyenas along there. Ah, we've lost all of our flamingos here? All but two. All but three. We need to place more here. These watering holes are getting very, very crowded. Wow. They really are getting crowded. Okay, we've got... We need four more. How is the watering hole over here doing flamingo-wise? Uh, not very well. They're very stressed out again. Oh, no, and it's still dropping. They seem to just die when under stress. <laughs> uh, so that's not so great. Let's place a few more over here. I don't think we're going to be able to win this fight, though, because we're just, they're just dropping. They're dropping faster than we can place new ones. 
I don't know exactly what is going on. I don't exactly know why that's happening, but yeah. What about down here? Oh, we're missing an entire population right here. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. Oh, we got it. We got it finally. Okay. So everything is completely full, right? We don't need to fill any of these up. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, yeah, we're good. So we've got enough food here to sustain our dewy. We don't know. We don't have enough food to sustain our baboons. They're still eating everything, but we need to place more zebras. Do we have zebras here still? We've got a lot of hyenas. I'm going to actually drive the hyenas away from the watering hole. We'll bring the whole pack out here and try to bring them over to this area because I think they're killing off all of our zebra and that's not what we want we want we need them to be farther away they need to be preying on the migratory creatures no nope, you're not going this way you guys are going back out this way um we need them all to be out here more no where are you guys going you need to be farther away from the watering hole we need them to hang out out here more than anything so that uh, they're going to be centered in a good area because they can survive without water they don't need to be right by the watering hole to live, whereas our lions and whatnot will. So I'm going to put a couple lions in, and then I want to make sure we just boost our zebra population as much as we can. Hopefully the hyenas continue to stay away. Um, the crocodiles are going after them. Uh, but I hope the hyenas just will continue to hang out someplace else. We're about halfway to our predator goal, but we really need to get our zebra population up quite a lot more. Uh, it is still quite low. You're gonna die. Get back to the water. Get back to the water before you die. Nope, you're, you're just gonna kick the bucket then. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. But why do we have only eight zebras in the entire world? Okay, we've got four of them now right here. But uh, that'll be a good start. What about over here? This is starting to help. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do something a little risky. I'm going to introduce a lion. And this lion will have no choice but to prey on the baboons. So hopefully it won't, um, hopefully it won't be too tricky for this lion to bring down prey. No. But this should help keep the baboon population in check, which will kind of bring those numbers down a little bit more if we introduce a couple of lions there. And of course, we do need our lion goal to be up in the end so that we can uh, we can meet that goal. But we've got one here. We've got a few zebras over here. We probably need even more. So now we're up to 10. What about down here? We've got a lot of chaos and no zebras. <laughs> we just need to place one more but I probably will place more than that if possible so that we can continue to maintain this population. All right, there we go. We've got lots of uh, lots of new things happening here. Let's place, well, I'm going to place some more along this route, I think, just to kind of make sure. Let's put some more of these guys in. We need flamingos again. I hate the flamingo goals. They're the worst, I swear. Okay, let's come over here. And I think we're just going to, at this point, just go for it. <laughs> I'm going to put in uh, a crocodile now. It should be able to bring down some of the baboons. And I think, yeah, we have a third lion here, which is good. We're actually pretty close to having that goal. But when you, we have just a watering hole full of baboons. And where are you going? Oh, you're going over here to eat from this carcass. Okay, that's fine. We'll put another one in here. We've completely lost our uh, flamingo population here once again. So I'm going to replenish it. I think it's because the baboons are noisy and scary and they're causing the flamingos too much stress. Um, they cause me a lot of stress too. <laughs> I don't like them. The baboons are hard to deal with. I thought they were, were going to be better. But no, they are not. And uh, we're going to place down here... Well, we have we have a decent sized um, zebra population. So I'm going to place a couple of flamingos here. Or a couple of flamingos. A couple of crocodiles here. So that we can hopefully have uh, more predation going on here. We do have a lion. But we need to get this goal uh, as well. And we need even more lions. So I probably am going to put another lion over here just to make sure, but we do have enough animals traveling to and from it that I think that's going to help significantly. We've got a lot of wildebeest that are out wandering in this area, actually, or we have a couple at least. I thought we had more, but most of it is these uh, spring hares, so we probably actually need to put more wildebeest in, maybe. Oh, no, there they are. They were just getting some water, I think. 
And we have quite a few, we have a lot of hyenas down here, but not as many wildebeest, I guess. Oh, we don't have that many wildebeest down here. We only have 15 in total. Okay, I thought we had a lot more, but we're actually only just one off from our lion goal. So I'm going to continue to place in predators in areas that I think could have them. And then I think we're pretty close to actually finishing this up. Um, so as long as we can continue to... Oh my gosh, all the predators are here. Oh, oh, and we actually won. Okay, I, I was going to say, I, th I was thinking we were pretty close, but we actually were really, really close. But uh, so yeah, that was this level. We'll be jumping into the next one. It looks like we've unlocked the giraffe, so that'll be interesting. I bet that's going to be like a long range tree eater. So because we keep finding trees out in the middle of nowhere, and I bet that's what the role of gi the giraffe is going to be. But it probably also won't be preyed on too much. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.